Hey there, what's going on? My name is Basir. Welcome to 6th video of 100 web project series. In this video, we are going to create this modal pop-up using HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. As I click this button, the modal slowly slides from top to bottom, and if I close it, it transitions back from the bottom to the top, like so. And check this out, if I click anywhere other than this modal, the modal is going to vanish and slide back to the top. Alright, so without any further ado, let's get started. I have my code editor opened in here and I also created the HTML, CSS and JavaScript files already did all necessary plumbing and wiring between them just to save some time. Okay, so I'm going to start with the model button, button.button .button and model1. I'm going to call that model1 because we are going to have a lot of models. I'm going to add an ID, it's going to have a header, also a body. Like so, in the header I'm going to add the title and just going to be the model title and then there is this button with the class of button and the model button class and inside of that I'm going to add this HTML entity which is going to create that cross sign for us. Back in the body I'm going to create some dummy content using lorem. Now I'm going to run this in live server. Okay, it looks hideous. Let's tag them side by side so we don't have to bounce between the data and the browser over and over. Alright, so starting from style.css I'm going to target the button at a padding of 0.5 rem and 1 rem. Then get rid of the border, add this 1 pixel solid, my favorite color. Then also a border radius of 3 pixels to make it rounded. Then also a cursor of pointer that looks better. And for the model button, I'm going to get rid of that background color. So background dash color. This is transparent, like so, and also make sure to get rid of that border. And increase the font size. Alright, now time to style the model. A width of 450 pixels. Position fixed from the top 50%, from the left also 50%, 15 and 50. All right, then transform and translate minus 50 and minus 50%, like so. Now you see it is in the center and let's add a border as well. That's good. And also for the header, displayed as flicks and then justify content as a space between. Alright, also let's add this background color for this. Okay, that looks a little bit good. And then the border bottom of one pixel solid and again this grayish color. And also let's add this align items to the center. Now they are in the center vertically. Also make sure to add a padding of 0.5 rem and 1 rem as well. That looks darn good. Now in here, let's add a font family. My favorite font family, that's CUUI. And also let's add a border radius for overall model. And that is 10 pixels. Okay, for the body, there is nothing fancy, only a padding. For the button, let's also make sure to add an active sodo element in here. So when it's activated, transform and scale it to 0 0.9. There we go. If I click that, you see that little nice click. And also for that black border, let's get rid of that. Now this looks better. All right, so time to style the overlay as well. First, add its HTML element here, overlay. It's gonna have that ID of overlay and then in style the CSS. All the way down up until here. Overlay, position that as fixed. From the top, it is zero. From left, it is also zero. It's gonna have a width of 100% and also a height of 100%. Okay, make sure to add a background color for this as well, RGBA, that's 0.0. .0. Okay, and now for the model, 
Z-index of 2, so it appears on top, and also a background color. All right, so this looks pretty darn good. Now, as a final thing, I'm going to add this active class for the model and for the overlay so that when we are using JavaScript and triggering those buttons, these models are going to show up. All right, so by default, this model is going to have minus 50% space from the top. It's going to disappear. And when it is activated, model.active, from the top, it's going to have 15%. Right, and also for the overlay. Overlay active, when it's activated, display this as block, now block. There we go, and write it here, display as none. Okay, now time for the JavaScript code. In a script.js, first I'm gonna grab all the buttons. That is equal to document dot query selector Okay, query selector. I believe I didn't create that data target for the button. All right, so in here, for the button to know which model I'm targeting, I need to add an attribute called data. Data dash target. In this case, it's going to target anything with the ID of model one. So this model one, let's copy that out and paste it right here. Using JavaScript, we're going to trigger and show this out when this button is clicked. So back in the script.js, make sure this is selector all, like so, and then here, data dash target. All right, then buttons dot for each. Let's loop over every single one of that. And then hook this event listener at event listener on click run this function document dot query selector and then button dot data set dot target dot class list dot at class of active like so and let's shrink down the size of browser so you can see the code truly all right now if i refresh this out and click the model there we go this is how it's going to show up but it appears suddenly so in the style of the css i'm going to add some transition for this now here for the transition i'm going to add from the top 0 0.5 second is in and out all right now uh, let me refresh that once again and click that there we go and if you maximize it uh, it is now 100 percent refresh click that model this is how it's gonna look all right so back in here for the close button i'm gonna first grab all that close buttons of the model so const close buttons that's document dot query selector all and then there is this model button all right, now close buttons. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna duplicate it twice. Like so, but this is going to be close buttons. Let's copy that and paste it right here. Okay, so close buttons dot for each of these button, button dot add event listener. When that is clicked, I want to remove the active class from button dot dataset dot target. Okay, back into index.html, make sure you're going to copy this out and also paste that right here. There we go. Now, if I just click the model and click that out. All right, so we are making good progress so far. Now, as the final step, we also need to grab that overlay as well. So const of overlay, that's equal to document.querySelector overlay like that so when the button is clicked on that overlay dot class list dot add that class of active okay good and when when the close button is clicked remove that active class from here like so all right so back in here if i click that model you see that overlay is showing up and if I close that out, that's gone. 
again okay you can do it back and forth like so there we go and as a final step if i click anywhere like here other than this model i want this model to slide back to the top and there's also some little code of javascript for that first i'm gonna use this code so here if e.target is equal to overlay then grab all the models that's equal to document dot query selector all and then the model like so then model start for each model dot class list dot remove the class of active like so when that active class is removed from the model also make sure that remove the overlay from there as well all right now if i click the model the model is going to show up and if i click away all right it's not working oh here is the typo unclick there we go now if i just click model one it's going to show up like so and if i click that out there we go it is gone as the final step for your hot content i'm going to create one more button in here and also one more model all right i'm going to call this as model 2 and this is going to be called as model title 2 also for this one it is model 2 and right here again model 2 and make sure this is model 2 as well now save it and if i go back to here click model 2 you see that model 2 is showing up and also for this one all right now in a script.js there's one more thing you have to know that when i'm closing all of that models uh, there is one other way of closing the model as well in here so and that way you can say button dot closest and then here adding the class of model and then finally copy this out and paste it right here now if i comment this out and go back to here refresh it add the model there we go it still works perfect this looks pretty darn good thanks for checking out the video make sure to drop a like leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification for more videos and i'll see you guys in the next one